Hey, it's John and Mike, brew-dudes.com, and today we're talking about hydrometers because that's an exciting topic. Hydrometers. So, uh, Mike has had the same hydrometer for almost 20 years. You started brewing in 1998, right? 98. Okay. So, that's not quite 20 That's not 20 years. That's not exactly. You're, you're pushing it. I'm pushing <laughs> it. You're definitely It's like more like 30 years. <laughs> but, so, he's been using this same hydrometer to test his uh, gravity readings. Um, for as, as long as he's been brewing, and uh, he's, he's been talking to me like, you know, every time I check my final gravity, it always seems high, and I don't know what's wrong with my brewing process. Yeah, I've been process. bitching about it for a long time. You have been. Because on average, thing. your beers, regardless of style, finish lower than my beers, regardless yes. of style. and I lie about it, so that's, mm. that's another reason. At least by two points. <clears throat> At least. But no, you, you're right. I mean, I, I've, I've taken photographic evidence of that as well. Oh, but, that's um... True. But it seems like you've had this problem and you were investigating it, but then you bought this because, what was it? So you? I was reading, this was like a year and a half ago, I just happened to be cruising forums mm -hmm. and saw several different posts coming up at the same time cruising about forums. people breaking their hydrometer. Yep. And I got a little bit concerned and said, um, well, now I've jinxed myself. I'm going to break a hydrometer <laughs> because I'm still using my original hydrometer. In fact, yeah. that was one of the posts. One of the questions mm -hmm. someone was asking is like, "Hey, I just broke another hydrometer. How many hydrometers have you broken?" And like the badge of honor were a few guys like myself replying, nope. "I still have my original hydrometer. Right. I've never broken one. The rest yep. of you DBs don't know. You know, <laughs> you're like whip whipping them around or something. You know, <laughs> like some people have gone through like five or six of these things. Yeah. I'm like, I don't understand. That. I've only broken one." I've been brewing for five years, and I've gone through 20 hydrometers. I'm like, well, I've been brewing for 37 years, and I still have the same one. And there you go. And you're pushing it again. And, yeah. <laughs> okay, good. So, so what does this one say? I don't know. This says, uh, you said it said 1018. Let me see if yeah. I can verify So I this. brewed the Hefeweizen, and when I racked it out, I took a sample to check the hydrometer reading, and I looked at it, and I'm just like, oh, man, it's like 10... It's pretty high, yeah. 1018, 1017 10, 10, 10, 18, or yeah, something, yeah. right? Yeah. But when I tasted the beer... Doesn't it doesn't taste it doesn't taste I mean, not that I know what that means, but it doesn't taste that bad. So and so then. my wife was downstairs when I was doing it, and I was, and I was complaining to her about it and saying, oh, John's beers are always drier than mine, <laughs> but it doesn't taste that way, you know? And so, but then I remembered, because of that forum post that I got freaked out, I had bought a new hydrometer, and I realized, I, I remembered that I had it. So I pulled it out, and I dropped it in the 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 ward sample, and yep. what does that one say? It says 1014. 10 I, guess, 14. I was going to say 1040, but 1014. 10 no, 14, 10, 1, 4. So four whole SG Points. units, yeah. one degree Plato for those people at home. Still rocking Plato. Still rocking Plato. So that's, I'm much happier with a beer that's 1014. I mean, yeah. I'd like it if it was 1010, but it's sure. 1014. So I had been putting a lot of effort into worrying about my system my, is am I creating a more dextrinous wort, a less fermentable wort because of my direct fire? Mm -hmm. Is my is my mat? I was about to go into this process of recalibrating my mash out. thermometer, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I've taken different measurements with different <coughs> thermometers, and everything seems to be fine with thermometers. So I, I couldn't think it was my mash temp. Then I just happened to check this and was like, oh wow! So I guess like the moral of the story is, as much as I love. The fact that I still have my original hydrometer. <laughs> just save it somewhere, but you're not going to use I it I should again. just frame it yep. and put it up somewhere. Um, but the poor <laughs> thing has been doing me wrong, man. And so for how long? Who knows? Probably a Part of the last, like, 47 years. <laughs> as long as you've been bitching. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so since I noticed, so I don't know. The reality is this, and we have a blog post about this from years ago. You can't calibrate these things. Because no. calibration actually means resetting a set point. You know, bringing it back to zero, or in this case, 1.00. You can't do that with a hydrometer. You can put it in a known solution and, and, and know what the reading should be and have a, an in-house offset, mm. but you can't calibrate. You, most, most enclosed thermometers, you can't calibrate a thermometer. Calibration actually means fixing it, but you can't fix this. So somehow the paper inside there is shifted a little bit or... Or maybe somehow, so, even though it's a sealed tube, it's lost some of its vacuum or something? So, Michael, this is my question for you. Yep. Uh, 60 degree water, this tube, put yeah. this in, and then yeah. put that this in. This was calibrated at 60 degrees, right? Yep, that's what it says. Which is weird because most of them, this one included, is calibrated to 68. Huh. 
So that's kind of weird. I bet if we did the calibration, somebody's going to leave a comment, hey, you dummy, it's, you know. <laughs> but I have in the past done a calibration on that, and, um, and this is it still comes in high. Yeah, that one's like, Most hydrometers now, or they are 68. I, I've noticed that. I mean, that's how old this one is. Yeah. is it's back, see, back before climate change, 60 <laughs> degrees was the norm. And now it's 68, 68 degrees. All right. Well, I, that's the only thing I was thinking is that Al Gore gave me <laughs> take this a, yeah because he invented hydrometers he did, too. Invent hydrometers. But you should put this in water and see what it. I have that, in the past. And what is has it come out to zero? Well, or the what? water was at ninety five degrees. I have no idea. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it'd be interesting. We should do that. As we should have thought that up before we did a video. But it's good. I'm not saying it's do okay. it now. But why don't you like do it and then put it in the comments or something like I'll, that? Okay. All right. More work. Let's do it. <sighs> don't okay. forget it. I'll. I'll I don't forget. I won't forget. Okay. And if, and if he does forget it, put a comment saying, like, Michael, let's know what the Hello, experiment did. What happened? Wake up. Hello. Yeah. Maybe it's fine. Maybe it's just off in temperature. I don't know. but it's So it's, this will be my winter hydrometer. Uh, you should just hang this, that one up. This will be my summer Make that the, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Beer um, Memorial Hydrometer. Yes. The true brew hydrometer. And just, you know, frame it for all time, saying, like, I never broke this. This actually says Made in France 2011. How about that? Wow. This was made in France in 1911. When Louis you, when Pasteur you started brewing. himself yes. made that back <laughs> in 1687. All right, that's enough nonsense. Okay. Yeah, right. So use better, newer, hunt. what's the moral of the story? Always the moral uh, of the story is check your equipment. Is know, know what your equipment is telling you. Like know that it's reading right, so check it. You know, you, you got to come up with a standard solution of some sort um, and, and check this stuff. Always check your Always equipment. Always check your equipment. All right. So that's the moral of the story. That's the... Yeah. <laughs> check your equipment. Check your equipment. Boys, check it. For John and Mike, brew-shoots.com. Brew on. You should drink that. Cheers. No, now. that's been sitting there overnight. Drink it, bro. It's awful. <laughs> Fade to black. <laughs>